You guys, we've got some big news to talk about in today's New Zealand video. It's looking like we're about to sign a young Brazilian 22-year-old defender for 35 million euros. His name goes by Gabriel. He plays for Lille. We played against them in the Champions League earlier this season and I thought personally he looked very impressive against us. I like how he left his defensive line to help cover and support his fullback and you know pay attention to that point I made because Gabriel has a lot of special attributes which may be potentially force the club to have to sign on a permanent. But of course you guys, what does this signing mean? We have so many defenders right now. Does this mean that there is going to be a defensive revamp? And if that's the case, who's going to go and who's going to stay? And let's not forget the players are on loan. What about Ethan Ampadu? Is he going to get an opportunity next season or is he going to be forced out on loan again? What does this signing mean, you guys? In today's video, I'm going to cover all of that. And on top of that, I'm going to talk about two main stories as well. I'll be talking about Kumbula, the young Albanian defender from Serie A. And of course, I'm going to be talking about Olivia Giroud, Pedro, and why Lazio could be the next destination for both players. How are you guys doing? I'm in EFC. This is Blue Lines TV. And if you like today's New Zelly video, smash that like button. Help me get over 2,000 likes for today's video. Smash the like button if you're happy with Gabriel being signed. And smash that like button if you're keeping yourself safe during this pandemic, you guys. Make sure you guys are keeping your hands clean and your hygiene on point. And without wasting any more time, let's get in with the story for the day. The main story. And that's in regards to Gabriel, our potential new signing for next season. Now, what's really interesting about this story is that a few days ago, a report comes out suggesting that Everton are close to signing the player. The report states that Everton plus two Serie A clubs and an unnamed Premier League club have all had offers accepted from Lille for the player. A few days afterwards, earlier today, it's announced by journalist Manu Lejean that it looks like Gabriel will be signing for Chelsea. It seems like, of course, we were the club that agreed terms with Lille. And at this point in time, you guys, has Marina pulled off another silent miracle? It's starting to look like that. Now, before I get into things, one more thing, you guys. Remember, today's video is brought to you by the One Football app. Download it to stay up to date to all the latest news coming out from Europe in regards to transfer links and transfer stories. Now, I'm constantly stressing it's a great companion app to have because it's a hub. It's a hub that collects all the stories instantly from across Europe, so you'll never miss out on the latest news. If you guys want it, you'll find the link below in the description below. Now, what's really interesting about the signing is that we're actually signing him for a reduced discount. You know, due to this pandemic, it's really tanking countries' economies and it means that clubs can't come on the original fees they wanted. Now, at the time, Lille wanted 45 million euros for Gabriel. We were able to sign him for 35 million euros, which is about 30 million pounds. And is this potential Gabriel signing giving us an indication in regards to what the market could be like in Ligue 1? We've looked at two players there, Moussa Dembele from Lyon and Sumari from Lille. Now, both clubs wanted a lot of money, but due to the economy, could we sign both players for less? It's looking like a real possibility and maybe it's telling us something because why are clubs looking to sign players so soon and so quickly? Anyway, we've beaten off competition from Everton to capture the defender, but there's one thing we need to remember. Even though it seems like we have agreed transfer terms with Lille, we haven't agreed personal terms yet with the player. So let's see what happens. We've been in this situation many times before. Let's remember Golovin a few seasons back. We agreed terms, however, we couldn't agree personal terms with the player because he wasn't confident about the amount of game time he might receive. Could Gabriel panic? He's looking at us right now. He's looking at Rudiger, Zuma, Christensen and Tamori. If you're asking me, I probably don't think so. But I brought up the point because, again, it's an example of how these deals might fall through. Now, you might be wondering at this point in time, who exactly is this player? Why the hell have we signed a defender that isn't Koulibaly? That isn't whatever big defender that people wanted. You know what, you guys? I got you covered. I'm going to give you a brief analysis on the player, his skill set, and why I feel like the club decided to sign the player if reports current at this point in time are accurate and true. With Gabriel, what is there not to like? He's six foot three. He wins aerial balls. This guy is winning at least five aerial duels per 90 minutes. He can play a pass from deep. He can play those long 
accurate vertical passes. For a team like Lille, that skill set has been important because they like to play quick and direct to their strikers up front. And Victor Osimhen and guys like Okone playing in behind him. He can defend airily and most importantly, he can defend on the ground. His dual success rate is very high. And as I mentioned earlier, he's comfortable breaking his offensive line. He's the key figure in the Lille team at progressing the ball from deep. You know, when you analyze everything, and I know I've given a very brief analysis, but when you analyze the key components of his game, is he that missing key in the defense that Lampard has been desperate for? You know, Lampard's, and you know, I, I think it's safe to say, has missed out on David Luiz. He's missed out on that ball playing ability and that ball progression from deep. Gabriel is that stopper who has a left foot that plays on the left hand side of the defense that we need. He's got pace. He's comfortable closing his man down out wide, helping the fullback, you know, things that are very key for the team's tactics at strengthening and really tightening everything up. And the mad thing is, you know, this guy was a relative unknown player and it's a testament again to Lewis Campos and his ability to support players. You know, last season at Lille, things weren't looking too great. He decided to stay again and look at how the team's really blossomed and shown its fruition. You know, he's been involved in signing these guys and he's signing so many hidden gems. Gabriel is another one. Stats wise, when you look at the player, when you look at the stats to back him up, everything's starting to add up. You know, at 22 years old, he's got a reputation right now to be one of the most promising Brazilian defenders at this point in time. I guess the only question left to talk about is what the hell do we do with the rest of our defense? You know, we've got Zuma, Christensen, Tamori, Rudiger, you know, Ampadu's out on loan. If you're asking me, ideally, I would say sell Rudiger. I don't think we need to keep him. Could clubs coming for him potentially who knows would really want to leave i'm not too sure but i think for balance if you could have a tamori and gabriel on the left hand side of the defense zuma and tamori acting as those cover defenders supporting them you guys i can envision gabriel and zuma being a big partnership both these players are amazing in the air. Zuma is much better playing as a cover defender. And it seems like Gabriel has those qualities that Lampard has been missing and Lampard has been looking for. So maybe this tells us that we're looking to sign smart for next season, not just sign big players. We're looking to sign the right players that help improve the team tactically, the helpful holes that we currently have at this point in time. If that means that we have to sell a Rudiger, maybe that's the case. If it means that Ampadu has to go on loan again, which I personally think he needs to because he's barely played at Leipzig. And if you're asking me, do not be surprised to see Ampadu on loan at Leipzig again. Then this potential signing could be a testament to the club's newfound approach to signing players, trusting the manager and signing right players that really improve the team as what we need. You know, it's, uh, it's really interesting, this story. Um, let's see what happens as the days go on because I'm sure we're going to hear even more reports soon, you guys. In the comment section below, let me know how you feel about this signing. Is Gabriel the one? Are you happy? Can you see the logistics and the sense behind the signing? Let me know below, you guys. And from now on, we move on to the second story for the day. And I want to talk about a young Serie A defender who goes by the name of Kumbula and he plays for Hellas Verona. Now, reports in Italy suggest that we're looking to pay up to 23 million pounds to sign Kumbula. Surprise, surprise, we're competing with Everton for his signature. And the moment I saw Everton, it got me thinking, it got me contemplating, it got me hypothesizing, you guys know me. Is this interest in Kumbula a distraction? a decoy you know to fool Everton into thinking that we're really just like casting our net high and wide to look at any defender out there so we can go behind the scenes get a deal wrapped up quickly for Gabriel I don't know you guys I'm not saying that I'm right let me know in the comment section it's just a suspicion a feeling I have because the timing of things you know is is a bit too coincidental now at 20 years old, if he was signed, he's not signed to be a first team player. He has a big reputation due to his physicality, his aerial ability as well, and his vertical long balls are decent. However, as the complete package, he's not there just yet because he is only 20 years old and maybe the technical side of his game isn't that accomplished just yet and maybe it's something we don't necessarily need you know it's quite interesting that we've been looking at defenders that can play the ball and that can pass and 
I think it's safe to say that we have been missing out on Davi Luiz and his ball playing ability. There's a reason why every big club has defenders that can play the ball, that can start attacks, that can make things happen. You need it. You need that quality. You need to possess that. And that's been one area in the defence that we've most definitely been missing out on. Rudiger's quality has been inconsistent. Zuma can do it, but he's just not going to play that right type of pass every single time. And I think Tomori and Christensen are better at playing on the ground than playing in the air. As I said before, I cannot help but think that this Kambula story was a diversion to distract Everton so we could wrap up this Gabriel deal very quickly. It's an interesting report. It's interesting because it gives us further insight into the profile of the defender we're looking at. And I guess at this point in time, we can already immediately know that Kumbula won't be signing because it seems like Gabriel has taken his space. Now you guys, we end today's video with the final report and that's in regards to both Pedro and Olivia Giroud. Now reports came up from AS and from Gazeta della Sport. They're reporting that Lazio are looking to sign both players from us. Now, that doesn't mean we're going to get a chance of fee, of course not, because both players' contracts are expiring. So it looks like they both could sign for Lazio on a free contract. I guess the benefit to this is that these are two players who are earning over 100k per week. That frees up a lot of space in the wage bill. And, you know, with the market coming up soon, to have that wage bill flexibility is a good thing to have, you guys. Lazio and Serie A could be a good league for both players. You know, you're playing at the highest level still and a league that has a lot of respect for older pros. In a team of Lazio where Giroud competing alongside Immobile and Casido and Pedro, I'm guessing, being used as a wingback. I don't know how that would work. That would be interesting, but it wouldn't be my problem because he'd be at Lazio and he wouldn't be with us. Reports are that Inter might go back in for Giroud, so I don't know where the hell Giroud is going to end up because uh, it seemed like every single club in Europe was after him when he was available in January. You know, things have worked out in the players' favour, I guess, because there was no Euros this summer. You know, if Giroud finds the right club playing consistent football, that could boost his chances to represent his nation. So, uh, you know, is Lazio the answer? I'd imagine that Giroud wants to go somewhere where he's playing week in, week out. So let's see what happens. And, you know, when it comes to the future of Pedro, he stated that due to the current pandemic, you know, it's not a priority right now. So respect to him for that. You know, he's won everything in the game, so I'm sure this guy's going to be good. And on that point, you guys, I'm going to wrap things up and keep things moving. Thank you for watching. Gabriel to Chelsea, Gabriel, Zuma, Gabriel, who, who are you like to see Gabriel partnering up alongside? Let me know in the comments below. And on that point, I'm going to wrap things up and keep things moving. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. I'm Nini FC. This is Blue Lions TV. I'll see you guys in a bit.